a works by Dutch explorer Robert Jacob Gordon. The collection will be exhibited in Cape Town early next year. A formidable library of information. The Rijksmuseum contains art and literary work collected from over 600 years ago. It houses some of the world's most famous portraits and paintings. Among those, the Gordon collection of maps and journals. He was a connector. He was traveling through South Africa and on his journeys he mentions to name the country and to draw all those amazing animals and to come across all those people he tried to become friends with and to speak their languages, which ended in a collection of 450 drawings altogether held in the Rijksmuseum collection. The exhibition is expected to take place between February and May of 2017. Most of the art pieces date back to ancient times and are water-based paintings. They only can travel once because they're extremely fragile uh, and we really, really hope to have this dream coming true because I, we know that a lot of South Africans would love to see the Gordon collection. The collection also highlights the history of the Islamic slaves brought to the Cape by the Dutch East India Company and how this resulted in the promulgation of Islam in South Africa. I think that they'll be very interested because the Cape Malay community uh, owes its existence in the Cape to the fact that they were brought to the Cape by the Dutch. I think a lot of them might also be descended from the political prisoners that the Dutch sent from Indonesia um, to the Cape. The Gordon Collection tells the story of South Africa's colonial past. The Department of Arts and Culture is looking to repatriate works of art that have been kept abroad over the years. This as part of their drive to ensure that the journals and the artifacts more accurately reflect the history of our country. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News in the Netherlands.